They're back for the first time in 14 years. The LPGA returning to Michigan this week. The inaugural LPGA Meyer Classic tees off Thursday at Blythefield Country Club with a week full of events that begin tomorrow. And as you can see, some of those players out practicing at Blythefield today. And yeah, the tour's weekend off, allowing many of the players to travel a bit earlier than normal. And a pleasure to have with us in studio tonight, 10-year LPGA Tour veteran and Michigan native, Chris Tamales. And first of all, thanks for being here. And I'm assuming, A, that you're back in Michigan, and B, coming off the performance in Toledo or Sylvania a few weeks ago, you're pretty anxious to get back out and play. Yeah, absolutely. I'm thrilled to be here and playing in my home state and playing in front of local crowds and everything. It's great. How much does your, uh, was it seventh place back mm -hmm. in, in the, the, towards the end of July, that finish, I know you guys have a week off, but yep. still riding some of that momentum here? Yeah, absolutely. I'm thrilled. We have four weeks in a row starting here in Grand Rapids and hopefully keep going after my high finish and have a finish my season off. Now, obviously, you've never had a chance, even as a 10-year veteran, to, to play in Michigan, as we mentioned. It's been yeah. 14 years. Yep. Uh, your thoughts on, on the tour not being here? I know a lot of it's really sponsor-related, mm -hmm. but not being in Michigan, a state that's so well-known for golf. It is. Uh, we're thrilled to be back here, thrilled to have Meyer sponsor us and have a great company like that and something local. I think it's a shame that we haven't been here, and really there hasn't been a tour event besides the Senior Open right. um, since 2009 when the guys played the Buick Open. So. It's awesome to be here. And coming here after a week off, how much does a week off benefit a group of golfers or does it hinder more? I think there's probably six to one, half dozen to the other. I think uh, a lot of girls really like having a week off, especially since we're getting ready to play four in a row. Um, three weeks, pretty easy travel, but then fly all the way to Portland um, in a month. So I like having a week off, uh, but it's also <laughs> nice to kind of keep the momentum sure. going. Is this week going to be a little bit busier than you just, you know, because of people you it know is. and those kind of things? Yeah, that I it? have a lot of people coming out, yeah. a lot of family and friends, and then I had a few media things going on yeah. this week. Since Pressure then. with that too? The, uh, the friends coming? Yeah, usually I'm just out there by myself. Yeah, right. So <laughs> having some people come out and watch is a little bit different, but I know they're there to cheer me on yeah. and I'm happy to have them. I know you said that you had just driven here for, for this interview. This yep. is your first time now to this side of the state for this week at least. Sure. Obviously play doesn't begin until Thursday. So what are the next couple days like for yourself in terms of getting to know this course? I mean, how do you map it out? Uh, I played last month. They're nice enough to have me out um, the week of July 4th when we had a week off and got to play the golf course and met a lot of people. It's amazing how nice everybody is here. I mean, I can't tell you how many um, of the the uh, workers and just the golf shop staff came up and introduced themselves and were really thrilled to have us. So that was a great opportunity for me to take a little bit of the pressure off uh, for the first few days to go out and check the greens out and kind of map my way around. And there's some dog legs out there that you really need to be on the proper <laughs> side of the fairway in order to make your best shot into the green. So. The, the tour is obviously selling, and, and this event here in particular, about you know accessibility to mm -hmm. the players and yes. uh, you know that kind of stuff to, to help to help sell the tour. And, and I know you guys understand you need to do that, but how difficult is that to do when you're also trying to focus, you know, playing against the world's best talent on a golf course? I think it's something that the LPGA does really well. Every single girl out there understands that uh, the fans and the little kids and right. everything sponsors are a big part of our of our tour, and we really need to become um, very. Fan and friendly and very accessible. Aside from being fan friendly, the Americans have really started to make a yes. push at winning some of these events. How big is that for a sport that for a long time had been dominated by some pretty big foreign names? Yeah, it's great. Stacy Lewis is, she's a world beater. She tees it up and <laughs> plays great every week. Michelle Wees had a really good year. I actually played with her a couple weeks ago back in Arkansas and she's really enjoying herself. She's a lot of fun to play with and she was just making putts from everywhere. So that helps a lot. Um, everyone, Jessica, uh, Jessica Quarters played really well this year. Mo Martin just won the British. So there's tons of girls that are playing really well in Americans, which is great for our tour. All right, and as a Michigander, Chris was sharing with us that she, like us, the diehard uh, Lions fan. <laughs> so, Absolutely. So we, we, uh, we were enjoying the conversation. So you yes. weren't a big Jim Schwartz fan. You're, you're hoping no. you like Jim Cobble. Yeah, I'm thrilled. What, what are you thinking about the year ahead here? I'm really excited. I'm going to the game <laughs> December 7th. The Bucks play okay. in Detroit. I've never been to a game before. Oh, really? I'm just okay. always uh, yelling at the TV during the winter uh, at home in Florida. So I cannot wait. 
I think that with Caldwell, they're going to do really well, and Stafford stays healthy, and yeah. everybody, you know, if we can, like, pull through the fourth quarter, <laughs> um, it's going to be a great season. And yeah, we're hoping you're right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, thanks for joining us today. Uh, Absolutely. Golfer by day, football fan by yes. night, uh, Lions fan, which is obviously hard to do. Uh, best of luck to you <laughs> this you. week. Thank you. Thank you very much. LPGA, the Meyer Classic. Thanks. Yeah, and of course, the Meyer Classic does begin tomorrow for most of the golfers. The professional practice starts at 7 a.m. is closed to the public. Tuesday, there is a public practice session that is all day, starts at 7 o'clock. Wednesday, a couple pro-am tee times, two rounds of that, one in the morning, then one beginning at noon. And then Thursday, of course, the first round of the LPGA Meyer Classic. The tee times, they're starting at 7 a.m. Second, third, and fourth rounds, the final round. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday tickets, $15 for a day pass, $35 for a week pass, or $50 for that upgraded pass. You can find all the information, parking, directions, anything you need, where to get your tickets as well at woodtv.com. And as Bill said, should be a pretty good week of weather outside of the next couple of days, at least for the early practice rounds. Exactly.